All right, we're going to reset the stage for our main performers of the evening. Again, just a quick question. How many of you were here for the, uh, the previous late night yeah. talk show? Those of you who were not. Oh, you can go back to the other slide for a second. I have one more slide to show uh, for this. Um, unfortunately, uh, one of our performers, Annie Savage, is not feeling well and will not be able to be here tonight. But we wish her the absolute best, and we give her the greatest of awes, followed by applause, right now. We love her to death. Uh, those of you who were at the show know that they were trying to come up with the worst possible name for an improv group, which is saying something, given the, the improv groups that are out there. Uh, and we think we finally came up with it, uh, credit Janet Barney, for the work that we now like to present. Joke Co. Cruise. Please welcome to the stage, Mark Evan Jackson, Gary Anthony Williams, Anthony Waddyway, and the little Janet Barney. Here comes the Joke Co. Cruise. Joke Co. I get it. I get it. Good evening and welcome. Uh, we're going to improvise for you this evening. Nothing that you uh, are about to see has ever been performed before. Nothing you're about to see will ever be performed. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, for, again, oh, this has to, to be the best show of our lives. <laughs> we will, if you at any point feel that we are not doing the best show of our lives, I need you to run up here and let me know on stage. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. You uh, are going to be so sorry. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, to begin, all we need is a suggestion from you. Maybe you please have a suggestion of uh, uh, what was your favorite subject in school? Art! Yeah. I heard art. Hey, art. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> What's going on, buddy? I, well, I've just been noticing you've been studying me lately. <laughs> the way I gently opened my lock door, I scrolled down the hallway. Can you blame me, buddy? You got an outstanding gait. You got you taught me that secret handshake that I'm still trying to learn. I mean, yeah, I'm studying you. I would be like you. Yeah, I understand, but I have a grading system, and I'm not sure that you fit right on my grading system as a student of all. Okay, uh, I didn't know this worked both ways. I'm so sorry. Uh, what should I be trying to give you back as a student, as, a, as an apprentice, if you will? Hold on just a second. Daddy, she wanna know what she should be giving me back as a student or as a princess as she will. Oh, uh, well, we're gonna tell her uh, she should be giving you apples. We like apples. <laughs> apples, we like apples. Hey, <laughs> uh, I, can I bring you some tomorrow? I didn't, I didn't bring any apples. I, I, feel so, I feel so silly, I should have been more prepared. Fail her, <laughs> fail her. She fails. <laughs> fails two different hands right now. I can hear that. Oh yeah, my dad is standing right behind you, man. <laughs> uh, maybe please have, uh, when you were back ashore before you came aboard, uh, aside from your keys or your phone, what's the last thing that you lost that you were looking for? Beard oil. Beard oil. Beard oil. Beard oil. Spirit oil. Beard. Beard oil. Beard oil. I also like spirit oil. Beard oil. If you have any questions, please do let me know. <laughs> so just trying to see if uh, this beard is looking juicy enough, you know? <laughs> I'm having a little dryness. You know? I want my, my beard looking slick. Are you looking for truth or compliments? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of both. All right, it looks fine. <laughs> what can I do to make it look better? I'm glad you asked. We do. we do have something of a selection. Ooh. We have tinctures, potions, drams, salves, pomades, coils. Wow. Are you the chosen one? <laughs> I'm just trying everything. As it was foretold. <laughs> Three 
years later. <laughs> this is the oil that I need. Apply it, please work for me. I... You, you may. <laughs> It was on that day that a regular man became a mightier man. They called him Sir Barb from that day on. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. If I may? Yeah, yeah, it's for... Never will these be washed again. That is an inside joke between you. Purple iguana? Purple guava. Purple guava. Guava. Purple guava. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm at the super enjoy enjoying my soups. I'm just going to finish filling up my soups. Okay. Would you like some soups? I would love some soups. This is a soup that my great-grandfather invented many years ago. He was the first man to eat soup. The first man to eat soup? Mm -hmm. Before then, people just licked rocks. <laughs> okay, this is a big deal. I, I can't wait. I'm so excited. If I could just... If I could just... Oh, it's really thick. Yes. If I could just... It's, uh... Do I crack the top like a, like a creme brulee? As or? my grandfather used to say, ain't no wrong way to eat a soup. <laughs> okay. I didn't introduce myself. My name is Pukli Guava. Hi, oh, hi Pukli Guava. How do you spell that? T-R-U-P-L-E-G-U-A-V-A. Pukli Guava. How wonderful. I'm going to have to just stick my whole fist down in here. I hope that's OK. Oh, I'm that's fine. If I chat it a little bit, I'll be able to break the surface. <laughs> There's a man out here who claims he hasn't washed his hands in 60 years. There he is. Man, I've touched the best beards and I won't wash it today. And you'd like me to do what exactly? <laughs> oh, don't put it under a microscope. <laughs> Does anyone have anything in their pocket right now? No, 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 don't lie to me, sir. If I come out there, you don't have ducks in your pocket. You have anything in your pocket? On your phone? Read me the first text on that phone. My default SMS is not here. Anyway, it's okay. Uh, yeah, but you do have a duck. I won't apologize. He did have a duck in his pocket. The ducks don't like me. <laughs> the ducks love you, son. I'm eating everybody else's bread. Wow. Son, don't you, son, don't you see what's happening? I do. You just entered the pond of the gluten. Freedom. <laughs> you were doing them a huge favor, a duckless 
celiac disease has nothing to laugh at. So this wonder bread I've been feeding them, it's poison. To them, yes. Quack. Who am I? Quack. Oh. Quack. 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 That duck is eating a gluten-free pita with hummus. Quack. Still such judgment. I haven't had time to go to the store. guest, a very special guest, monologist, who is going to uh, take a suggestion from the audience um, and just sort of talk about whatever comes to mind. We are very, very, very happy to have this dear friend and phenomenal comedian. Please welcome River Punjab! Hi guys, how's it going? Hi. Hi. Happy to be here. Uh, did anything that you've seen already spark anything, or shall we get to a suggestion? Let's get a suggestion. Let's do. Let's Flying do. monkeys. Flying monkeys, I heard. I'll ask for the suggestions. Uh, um, what, is, uh, what is your favorite character trait about your favorite relative? I believe I heard pragmatic. I'd like to ask the audience for a definition. Uh, <laughs> let's see, uh, pragmatic. Hmm. Flying monkeys remind me of... I'll get there, I'll get there. Um, well, I am thinking of favorite relatives, and I have many. Um, but my, my grandmother on my mom's side is my favorite relative, and I think she's maybe pragmatic. We'll find out. You guys can tell me if I know what that word means. <laughs> Um, let's see, she used to, uh, my favorite thing about my grandmother uh, is that she always drove Cadillacs. Not pragmatic, I don't think. Um, and she only drove them at zero miles per hour or 70 miles per hour. <laughs> she had such a lead foot that one time she stepped in glass at a store and had no idea until she got home. That's like how hard of a lead foot she had. Um, but her favorite activity was going to the mall. Um, and she would often take me to the mall, um, and many malls. Who I, I I miss the mall. I feel like the cruise ship reminds me a bit of the mall. Yeah. You know? And one thing that is missing from the cruise ship that reminds me of the mall is the kiosk. Yeah. I, knew, I had at one point in my life I had a crew of friends who all worked at kiosks. <laughs> Like, I miss that, look, I, I'm down with capitalism, down, down with it completely, but I would love to keep a kiosk or two, you know what I mean? <laughs> I love the, like, Russian doll of the kiosk at the mall. Like, we have this giant thing of stores, and yet we have tiny, tiny little carts. Tiny little carts of stores, like very specific bracelets and necklaces that you can't get at the ten other bracelets and necklaces stores. Also, where else are you going to get your cell phone fixed these days? <laughs> Gone far afield. Um, <laughs> what else did I love about my grandmother? Um, <laughs> taught me how to vacuum. <laughs> Look, you don't know that you're bad at vacuuming until you watch someone do good at vacuuming. You know what I mean? And then you're like, I've been doing this all wrong. It's supposed to look good afterwards? I didn't know that. Um, also, oh, she was a whipped cream connoisseur. Every night she made her own whipped cream from scratch. I knew somebody in this audience would be into that. You know what I mean? So there will be a panel tomorrow on whipped cream. It's going to be at 12 p.m. Um, yeah, she would make it every night. And uh, so much so that when she died, the one thing that I asked for of hers was the bowl that she mixed it in. Because she used the same bowl and it, <laughs> it became like misshapen from so much, all that whipping cream that she ate over her life. Um, I feel like that's some details. You guys oh, want to yeah. see that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to do uh, the Flintstones diet where I'm trying to go with my shoes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, you can't feel that? That hurts me. Oh, yeah, no. So, so I think that the Flintstones thing is working because I've never seen Fred complain about stepping in glass. You know what I'm talking about? You know that's not a documentary, right? <laughs> okay. I haven't seen anything to disprove it. <laughs> I stand corrected. Yeah. You're standing. Isn't that... No, no, I'm, I'm good, you know? Oh. Okay, I... Oh, no, you, you're, you're trying to take the glass out. Sorry. I mean... It's, it's deeper now. <laughs> I mean, I don't... If you're getting better traction, I... I... <laughs> you know, I... I feel like there's a part of me that's like, this shouldn't be in my feet. Well, yeah. But, you know, I'm feeling real jazzed up about it. You know, when I told you, you about my Flintstones plan, you're like, this is nuts. Don't right. do it. That's a bad idea. And, I don't know. I'm thinking I won. I mean, am I wrong? That bird still hasn't produced that one photograph. Yeah, well, we <laughs> might. We, we have to think back to Flintstone's time. You know, you're, you're on those computers and internets, you expect everything to happen instantaneously. What? <laughs> I'm going to take the glass out of your face. <laughs> oh my goodness. Holy cow. Yeah. Sir, what you brought to me is the rarest Hummel figurine. Where did you get this delicate piece of glass? My grandmother's foot. Your grandmother's foot. <laughs> Take this immediately to Cheryl Tunson. She'll know what to do with it. She'll know what to do with it. You don't follow me. I was backing away from you. <laughs> <laughs> yes? I thought I had gone to Antiques Roadshow, but I think it may have been the witch of some sort. <laughs> okay, well, is there a vitamin I can interest you in, or...? Oh, thank you. No, but uh, that, um, those sunglass keepers, good to use. Yeah? Is that all right? You can't actually go back oh, here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, which kidding. ones can I grab for you? Uh, all of them. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't need to violate your space. I was getting, getting a real kiosk vibe. Okay. Here you go. These are great. In the meantime, um, I was doing mild surgery on my grandmother's foot, as one does, and. Uh, is that. It's a. Uh, is that parking lot foot glass? It is. Apparently, someone must have lost a humble figurine. What? The F would I do with this? <laughs> she will know what to do with it! She will know what to do with it! <laughs> I, I think I was given bad advice. <laughs> okay, uh, that's going to be eight ninety five for the sunglass keepers. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, um, what are sunglass keepers? <laughs> you like... The librarian strap? Uh, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. Of course. Please. Yeah. yeah. I just call them net bangles. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. You are one of them. I know it's your first day working here in the kiosk. Yeah. Now they have that place over there that fixes broken iPhones. We break iPhones. <laughs> <laughs> you know that you're a you're an ample sized man, so you could probably do a lot of damage with your own fish. Oh, yeah. Here I have a dinky little hammer that I got from the dinky hammer kiosk. <laughs> you may want to try to click, click, click a piece of that glass, see if that works for you or not. Ah. You feel comfortable with that or would you like to try some other iron? I think my fists work fine. All right. Yeah, I've been breaking my lunch. Here comes your first cut. Hi, I'm on my lunch break. Uh, <laughs> Anybody. <laughs> well, I'm going to go on my lunch 
lunch break just right here and watch you work. All right. <laughs> I'm having some poopily gobble soup. <laughs> poopily gobble. Yeah, that looks like it's just a bunch of broken up rocks. <laughs> Sorry, boss. I'm gonna get back to work. Back to work looking at this small hammer. Excuse me. Oh, good. So you want a revenge break? You want yeah, something? It's a revenge break. Something uh, really mean. Yeah, yeah. So you gotta hit it with a tap set. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. So Thank now you. you can't repair that. It's, it's broken forever. Oh my gosh, this is great. <laughs> yeah. Um, what do I owe you? Uh, five dollars. Okay. Here you go. All right. He's really gonna hate me now. Uh, look, it's all good. If you need anything else broke, you know, I, I think we should expand. I can break other things. You can? Yeah. I Don't can. get too big for your britches, boy. <laughs> Don't get too big for your britches. <laughs> Looking at your mouth and yeah. trying to... So you went to the mall. Yeah. And you asked the guy to punch you in the face? It's more complicated than that. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I'm sorry. I think I just dropped my anchor. <laughs> hey, you're on a Popeye diet. Exactly. So go ahead. You went to the mall. Uh, yeah. And I was bringing my... Of course, I was bringing my brother's cell phone to go break it. He said the whole thing about how I had a metal mouth. And I was really mad. But then I had an idea. I was like, ah, what if I have them break my braces off? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You can't have braces without break. And I was like, break. That's the logic I was using at the time. So he punched me in the face, and I still have braces. There is a very expensive piece of hollow glass. You'll know what to do with it. <laughs> Everybody come in. Family meeting. When you say everybody, do you mean me? Yes, sweet. Okay. Maybe I didn't know. Right. I'm gonna tell them. I'll, I'll stand beside you and be, be the loyal lover that I've always been to. Gently making love to you at night when you when you ask me to. Sweetheart. Smoking the back of your neck. Sweetheart, they've already heard of that. Okay. <laughs> Pack your things, everyone. We're, we're moving into the car. I, my startup didn't pan out. Seems no one needs vacuuming lessons. Really? About which part? <laughs> I guess all of it. You know, yes. I'm just getting a little excited. I, I put a new poster up in my room. You know? Oh. I got a bunch of stuff hidden under my mattress. I don't know where it's going to go in the car. What kind of stuff, son? Next question. <laughs> he takes after me. So Here's we're all, 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 we're all living in the same Cadillac. We're all living in a pile in the Cadillac. That's we're right. all going to live in the Cadillac. You're going to see us living in the Cadillac. Like, For the moment. Go to the, Cadillac. the Cadillac is leased. So I won't have money for long. Fucking YouTube, you can learn to vacuum anywhere these days. Well, what about something else? You're really good at whiskey. Your father, as, as good as he is at making love. And he Hey, is, no! Okay. This is, this is so then I'll bad. skip to the next part. He only has one other true talent, and that is the art of vacuuming. And if his time has come, if he can no longer do what he is good at, then then we have to do what he says. He is our family's rock. The kind of rock that you eat on when you're thinking you're eating soup. <laughs> you know, this is, this is hard on us, too. Linda Tessarosa said that she would invite me to say the Linda Hawkins. Tessarosa? Yes. You're still talking you're to still Linda Tessarosa? Yes, yes. We explicitly said we weren't sure if we were still going to let you do that. Oh, I Hold on a second. Linda Tessarosa is not real. 
Is oh. that real? I don't know. It's, it's one of those. Yeah. Continue Ooh. as you do. He watched a YouTube video on how to have a fake a partner, a fake crush, a fake crush. So, oh. Yeah. She is real. She is, she's real. I didn't say she wasn't real. She just lives in Tasmania and she was going to fly all the way here for Sadie Hawkins to take the Sadie Hawkins at school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we talk to each other on Wednesday. I know you guys are going to be totally fine. Ring, 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 ring. Hello? Hey, boys, Linda. Hey, how's it going? Oh, see, I see. I, look, I need to talk to you on speakerphone because. No one in my family thinks you're real or lives in Tasmania. I understand. I don't even have a real phone. I have to use my thumb and pinky to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, that's 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 why. Well, uh, yeah, you know. Hey, so we're moving into a Cadillac. And Ooh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. front seat, the back seat. Front seat, the back seat. Uh, we're still distributing rooms. So okay. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, but I was just wondering, you know. If you could just try and visit sooner, so I can at least show my parents that you're real and that I'm not making you. Up. I will be there literally immediately. Literally immediately. Three years later. <laughs> what your address is? <laughs> Okay, so great. Looks so great. Anything comes to mind? Can I get another suggestion? Sure, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Loafers. 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 Okay, great. Um, <laughs> that works for me. Great. Um, so I, uh, I am a person, I was raised vegetarian my whole life. Uh, never eat meat, not once. Uh, and I also went to a private school, so I had to dress up from the foot down. Um, <laughs> We had uniforms, but we had very specific rules for our uniforms. Um, and so there was the year, a third grade, that I really wanted to get penny loafers. Because everybody else had really nice penny loafers. Um, but because we were like strict vegetarians, they also didn't wear leather. Um, so I had to get penny loafers from Payless. <laughs> I like that that's funny enough. Um, <laughs> But I do just want to say, like, pay less is no more. And like the kiosk, I wish we could bring it back. Well, I mean, kiosks haven't gone away. Whatever. Anyway. I miss pay less, and I miss elastic together pairs of shoes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> because that's, I, that was my favorite part of trying on shoes, is walking them around the store with only about a six-inch bit of gear <laughs> to really test them out. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I had plastic loafers uh, for most of school. Um, no one else did. Just me, just this little weirdo with some plastic loafers. I did also one time get cowboy boots for Bayless. Yeah! They were also plastic. Um, and it was because I was dressing up. Oh my god, I'm forgetting everything because I was seasick today. What's the name of the sharpshooting woman from the Old West? That's right. Um, I was like, I went, I was the only guy at an all-girls school, you understand. Yeah. <laughs> so when we had to be historical figures, I was like, I'll be the girl with the guns! <laughs> anyway, I thought that was funny to me. <laughs> 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 okay, May I help you? Yeah, I help you. Oh, I'm, I'm just looking for my size. Okay. Yes. I noticed you went straight for the vegetarian shoes. I did. Yes. Um, <laughs> I'm, not sure. I'm not familiar with this. These are they're paper they're, mache. They're made out of either paper mache, yes, or some type of fruit roll-up. Oh. <laughs> no, nobody died to, uh, to make that shoe. People died making it, but no one died to make it. <laughs> just let me know if you need anything. I'll be right over here eating my soup. <laughs> Oh, um, I think I've gotten kind of the gist. I see paper mache fruit roll up. Uh, these obviously are made out of, oh wow, yeah. found garbage? Mm -hmm. uh, when you say found, that makes it sound like someone just found it somewhere. It's locally sourced, okay. um, carefully curated garbage that we put together into a beautiful shoe almost. <laughs> 
Now, how are the insoles with the grass clipping? Uh, there are no insoles. There are no insoles. Oh. The grass. Yeah, okay. that's that's something that um, uh, we deemed unnecessary. Interesting. Okay. So it's just a shoe, and then nothing on the bottom. Okay. <laughs> no soles either. So you'll see the outer casing of a shoe. Oh, I understand. And then underneath. Barefoot, perfect for stepping on glass, for example, or whatever else you like to do as a hobby. Um, uh, would you let them know that the store is going to, to, to in five? The store is going to close in five, okay. four. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. I got a hair that's up a nipple in my shoe. <laughs> I 
definitely did not have an origami crane made out of a dollar bill. <laughs> not even a coin? I mean, I'm weird. <laughs> and that's cool. But I didn't have that. I had pennies. Well, yeah, yeah, what, yeah, what, what's wrong with us having that, huh? Are you gonna put us in some kind of like weekend program where us misfits might come together and learn about our differences and become friends? Like yeah. some kind of in brunch club? Yeah, <laughs> or maybe even share in some in instant unfortunate success. Don't you forget about me! That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'd like you all to write an essay. I'm going to be wandering the halls, smoking, uh -huh. getting into students' lockers. Sounds right. You do nothing uh -huh. except write an essay. I won't be able to see what you're doing. I will check in almost not at all. Right, if we're going to write an essay, I'm going to do it rebel style. All right, me, I'm doing it like this. Me? I'm just going to do it like this, and I'm going to keep my hands under my thigh. Okay. Essay, but we do it three words at a time. Love it. Oh yeah. Or, or we double space it, use all caps, yeah. and just use a whole bunch of adjectives. Yeah. I might use hieroglyphics. Oh, okay. Whoa. I thought you said Howard Glyphics for a second. <laughs> I got upset. Wait, did you? I might have. Nice. Howard Glyphics. Look at each other's feet. <laughs> that is our show. 